The Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Rome, but God demonstrates his own love in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That's what this week is about. God demonstrating his love, his incredible love for us sinners in giving his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. And we begin this holy week with Palm Sunday as we gathered out in the faith chapel with palm fronds and processed in. But now the tone of the service changes as we change the pyramids from red back to purple. The tone changing as the second theme of this day comes in. It's also the Sunday of the Passion, preparing us for what we're going to be rehearsing again this week as we go through our various worship services, our various opportunities to gather together and to be reminded of all that God has done for us as he has demonstrated his love for us in Jesus Christ. Worship on Monday, Thursday, we gather again in the upper room and are reminded of the things that Jesus did there, getting down on his hands and knees and washing the feet of his disciples. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many as he displayed his love to them and then his call to them, a new command to love one another. And then as he gave to not only the disciples, but gave to the whole church the wonderful gift of the Lord's Supper, which we just had the opportunity to receive again as Christ gives to us his very body and his blood in, with, and under the bread and the wine for the forgiveness of our sins, the strengthening of our faith as he comes to us. That 7 o'clock service on Thursday evening ends with the stripping of the altar and removing all of the decorations as we are reminded of how our Lord allowed himself to be stripped of everything and to give everything for us as he went the way of the cross. We'll gather together on Good Friday and be reminded of the events that took place surrounding the cross and be reminded of the words that Jesus spoke from the cross. Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. And then when he cries out, it is finished, complete. Everything that needed to be done, done. As the Lord experiences the full wrath of God in payment for the sins of all. We come back together on Saturday evening, again in the Faith Chapel, a service that moves from darkness, which we leave on Good Friday, that starts with darkness and ends in light as we begin the Easter celebration. As we hear from Scripture a number of readings that talk about God's uh, providing and God's deliverance throughout the history of the world. And then also as we have a time in that service for baptismal remembrance. We began the season of Lent with ashes put upon our foreheads in the sign of the cross. We end the season of Lent with water from the font in the sign of the cross on our foreheads, reminding us of what took place in our baptism. That in our baptism, Christ's death became our death. His resurrection became our resurrection. He made us his very own. And we live in that baptismal grace. We live in his grace. We live receiving all of the blessings of the cross and the empty tomb. And then we come back on Easter Sunday and gather together for the victory celebration. Yes, we have a Savior who died for us, but most importantly, he rose from the dead. He destroyed all of our enemies, sin, death, and the power of the devil, and then rose victoriously, and we will celebrate that again. We celebrate it every Sunday, but especially on Easter Sunday, as we rejoice in the fact that we have a living Savior, and because he lives, we live. We are a new creation. We have new life 
because of Jesus Christ. I invite you to join us for all four services, to take the whole journey, to hear the whole story as Jesus speaks to us in each one of those services, as we rehearse again how our God demonstrates his love for us. We now move into the reading of the Passion narrative from Luke's Gospel, chapters 22 and 23. We heard a couple of weeks ago in our series on following Jesus on his mission, joining Jesus on his mission, that we're all missionaries and we're all to be sharing the, the love of Christ with others. And one of the practices, one of the five mission practices is to hear from Jesus. As we go through the passion narrative, as we participate in the passion narrative, it's an opportunity for us to hear from Jesus. Hear him speak and watch him act in the things that he does as we hear again this incredible story of what he did and what he said and how he reacted to sin with love and grace and compassion and how he took it all upon himself so that we may know that love and that grace and that compassion and respond to it. So we take time now to participate in the passion narrative and to hear Jesus speak to us through it as God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. <laughs> 